Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Nafo29, and here's what's in our backpack. Uh, we're a little underweight. Uh, we have a little bit of wood. We have a fishing book, which we found while beachcombing. Um, clothing's all pretty good. We have a little bit of meat and cooking up some water. Travois needs to be. Well, it's getting to the point of repair. Look at that. Eight arrowheads. And <laughs> for for no reason, we have burdock and acorns. I don't know. Uh, we are on day 215 and ice fishing. That's the only thing. Everything else is at five. So we are early morning. We will do that and take that 20 minutes. You know what? It's going to make me feel better. Just what I need. Yeah. It's at 100, so why not? Oh, you can't put that in there. There it is. All right. Hmm. Boggy. Here's here's what I'm wondering. Like, do we just leave? I don't know that I left anything at the uh, Quonset that I really need. Can we just leave? Oops. One day I'll understand that I can't take that little shortcut there. I wouldn't mind going to the airfield and seeing if there are any batteries out there. But I would like to leave through Ravine. And I think this is the Pleasant Valley exit, isn't it? I just don't want to go through the dam. I think the only thing in the Quonset is like food and such. I don't think there was anything important. Oh, and what is our gun at? Our gun's at 78. The little snub nose. We got some walking to do today. I'll go this way. Yay, walking. <laughs> I don't know why. You like the walking, right, Copper? And I don't know why. Uh, that's just a carcass, I believe. What do we have? We have lots of wood, right? Yeah. Soothing and interesting. You're in. You're you're weird that way. <laughs> I guess we all have our likes. 
And sometimes our lakes are a little strange. Not that that one is strange, but... I guess that's kind of like me and digging in seven days to die, right? Are there any other feathers? I don't need feathers. I mean, we're going back to the camp office, so we'll have lots of feathers. Alright, so I believe this is the way you guys were telling me last time I should go this way. It's a better way to go. You think some people call it the feeling of flow? I've never heard that term before. You know what's not fun? Okay. Uh, digging in Sons of the Forest. Do you have these graves that you can dig up with your shovel? Wow. That's just annoying. I like that they allow you to dig in that game, but... I'd prefer if they just said, hey, dig here, hit a button, and then I watch an animation of you doing it, because... It's not that fun. With whether or not there are things in the Quonset to take, if it was you, Murd, yes. But for me, Nifo, eh, you should be good. <laughs> what What's in there that you would have taken? Like, I'm okay with the hides. Um, I'm okay with the... The saplings staying there. I'm just wondering more about bullets and such. I didn't leave anything like that there. Oh. Did I hit you? I don't think I hit you. Nope, I didn't hit him. When you're driving and hit that mode of contentment in moving. Uh, sometimes I hit that and then I wake up and I'm like, where am I? Oh, okay. The cooking ingredients, MREs and saplings you would have taken. Oh, okay. I'm good with leaving them. Is that... A different wolf, or is that the same wolf? I think that's the same wolf. You know, that trailer's right there. Let's do the smart thing and go warm up. This is where I find out I've never been in this trailer. And we have. Hmm. What can we do? We can definitely eat and drink. But what can we do to pass some time? Uh, socks are at 83. And 
at 83. We have a couple of repairs we have to do before we go to the airfield, but we'll probably have to find something to do at nighttime when we're at the camp office, so. There's tracks. Let's follow them. I think you're a deer. That's what I think. So yeah, we'll go get prepped for heading out to the airfield. And we'll check if there's any cars out there that we missed. Thought I heard walking. I did, I did, I did. But maybe I didn't. I would feel a whole lot better if I found a couple of batteries. I think you get six lead per uh, battery when you break them down. I think I'm not positive on that. The, the funny thing is I remember it goes from a 15 kilogram battery to a 1.5 kilogram piece of lead. But I don't remember how many bullet pips that makes. So I'm kind of hoping to find a couple and yeah, I mean, in the end, if we don't find any, I mean, really it's, it's a matter of making this gun jam and We'll just use barbs until we're out of bullets. Why do bullet tips have to be made out of lead? Why can't we use like scrap metal to do that? Is there like some bullet law that says that you can't? I don't know. Alright. My favorite zigzag. Alright, no auto walk. I do not like that. But I do love this bridge. Visually, Fressel bridges are so beautiful. answer why bullets are made of lead. Lead makes bullets more fatal. Interesting. D 
do they still use like actual lead? Like in real life, in bullet tips? I remember uh, one of my co-workers, I told him about the time I got stabbed with a pencil accidentally. And I thought I might have had an issue from that. And he told me that he was surprised that if I had gotten stabbed by a pencil, he's like, I think the lead would have caused problem a long time ago. I'm like, what? They don't use lead in pencils, we just call it that. It's graphite. <laughs> and this guy was like, what, eight years older than I am, so like, dude, you didn't know that? Modern bullets are typically made of a lead core, often jacketed or coated with a copper layer. Sometimes steel or other alloy cores are used. Steel-tipped ammo uh, with a lead core and copper jacket is used primarily by the military. Green tips to aid in barrier penetration. Interesting. Hey, coach. Speaking old. <laughs> How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. So I, a steel tipped bullet. I mean, it, it only makes sense, right? I mean, lead is a, I believe lead's a fairly soft metal, right? So a steel-tipped bullet is actually has better penetration than a lead tip. What? Search the frozen corpse. Have I? What? Could end up being useful. Have we not come across this like 18 times? And that's the first time that we're actually checking it. You're all right. The problem with steel tips is they go and go down range. You think that body and bag reset? I think so too, because... I mean, I've had a few locations in this run where I was surprised that I hadn't been to. At this point in the game, but... They were kind of out of the way places. In a sense, I guess, you know. It wasn't a body I had just walked right past. And you know me in the double checking. You cannot ever have enough birch bark. So yeah, I agree. I think that body and bag must have reset. Coach is on a 25 day stream streak. Nice, coach. Yeah. Should I leave this wood? I don't know. I 
I don't know why I took that. <laughs> I think it'll look nice on the porch at the camp office next to the other ones. We just played that game of leave a little and take a little. Speaking of which, I want to do some geocaching in real life. I was going to get into it before and then we just never did. But I would still like to do it. And I've heard that they do that where they have like a box at the location. And you leave what you're able and you take what you might need. I think that would be interesting. <laughs> I, t I took the rope just to make Murd have to update the notes. <laughs> nice. Yeah, your streak got messed up because of the infusion, right? Lumpy, lumpy, lumpy. I am not doing that here. I'd rather go down here and do it. Smoother terrain. Watch, I'll just mess this up. firing at 50% <laughs> oh well story of my life two shots one hit Head. Not shaking your head at me. It's a beautiful day. Look at that. It's just that thing and me. Well, that thing and us. Oh, you're shaking your head at Murd. Oh, yeah, because Coach said uh, hunting in Ravine is basically poaching. Murd said that it would make him a bad man because every time he goes through Ravine, he hunts. I don't hunt in Ravine very often. I don't actually stay in Ravine ever very much, do I? So the real the real gun would have five bullets, but this one here has six. I don't know why. Maybe there's like some rare variant out there in the real world that actually does take six. Or maybe the warden's sketchy and he he has like I don't know that you can make a sawed off revolver 
But maybe it used to be a different type of revolver and he chopped the barrel off for some reason. I don't know. I'm just talking stupid. Cheesy tuna pasta surprise. That sounds great if you take out the tuna. Like, it's like poutine. It looks ugly and tastes lovely. Yeah, me and food, I'm I'm one of those, like, if I look at it and it looks disgusting, I'm probably not going to try it. Right, you're a deer. And anything that's got fish in it, I'm not trying. Every time my wife makes tuna sandwiches, I just look at her because the cats are all around her, right? <laughs> like, well, you asked for it. Don't eat a cat food sandwich. You know what? I, I don't actually like gravy, so I'll never try poutine. I, I understand gravy. It just disgusts me, though. You know that? Like, it's like... You know, if I have beef, gravy is just liquid beef. But they're just, I don't, uh, uh, no. It's not my thing. It's funny because, like, if I go to, uh, you know, any kind of a function where they're feeding us, I try in those places because everything's pre prepared, right? To not be like, Hey, can I get this without this or this without? I just like whatever. I'll pick it off and I'll. I mean, they always bring your beef and it's covered in gravy. You're like, yeah, I'll just scrape that off. <laughs> oh, baby, baby. I heard you. I heard you. And you know what? I'm going to say it's probably a good thing I don't like gravy because the way I am, honestly, if I liked gravy, I would probably drink it out of a cup. I'm an idiot that way. Ah, there was two and then there was zero. Does that make up for my... I'm sure I can carry much more. Shut up, Well. Does that make up for my shooting with the snub nose? You know what? Oh, you know what? I want to eat. Let's go up the hill and go get. No, it doesn't. Why? Come on, man. I'm pretty lethal with a bow, just because I can't fire a teeny tiny little handgun. And I don't, you know what? I don't even know if I'm ever going to use those bow variants. <laughs> I'm just kind of... Happy with them sitting in the camp office at a hundred percent. Let's go get us a couple more ptarmigan. Once we're in the camp office, I can see how many feathers or how much down we have. I'm kind of aiming for a hundred. And 
Yeah, we don't get to hunt the ptarmigan very often, so... It's a little bit different, I guess, right? <laughs> At KFC, Coach will have a barrel of chicken. Oh, hold the chicken. Oh, I love... I love chicken. Fried chicken. Ugh, I love it. Now I want KFC. I was a little disappointed because for some reason I went to KFC and here everything is KFC Taco Bell. So I was actually going to Taco Bell. And on the, the menu it's like, ooh, you can have a bucket of popcorn chicken. Now, number one, that's false advertising. Because a bucket is not a, a rectangular box. That would be a box. Where are these guys? Are they not up here? Did I walk up here for no reason? Well. But anyways... By the time I got home, it's only a five minute drive. These delicious little nuggets of chicken all of a sudden turn to... <laughs> it's like eating those little rubber bouncy balls. It's called Ruby over like, Ruby, come here. And 16 bucks. 16 dollars for this stuff you know what we don't ever do kill the bunny actually it's kill the webbit <laughs> point blank is there only one of you up here? And I know we never made this in uh, the rules, but I'm pretty sure I can use the bow on the bunnies. Since I don't ever use guns on the bunnies. I think rabbits and ptarmigan are in the same category. They are bowable. There was no food rent there. I was just talking about how expensive these things were. I love popcorn chicken. It's just that they, once they cool off a little bit, they turn into little rubber balls. Like, I'm sure if you chucked them at a wall, they would bounce. But now I want actual KFC chicken. I don't want a, I don't want a sandwich. I don't want popcorn chicken. I want like, give me some legs. I miss the old days where you could go to KFC and you could get like white meat. Now it's almost double the cost. Alright. See in the in the sun they don't look the same, right? But in the in the Quonset when it's a little darker, they kind of they kind of look very similar. Come on, let me. Wow, you know what? I took a rope somewhere. I forget where it went. Bird's late on his food rent. <laughs> See, you told me a food rent. What's the way we mean it's a food rent? It's not a food rent. You're a food rent. Alright. This rug. 
sometimes causes issues. I remember when I was putting these all down, the rug interferes. Oh, of course, don't do it now. Because why would you do it now, right? Uh, bullet tips. Uh, I mean casings. 61. Oh, be or I think before we do that, let's break that down. And yeah, there we go. Feathers. We have 49. We have six. And there's one in there. So that should be fine. You know what? Before I forget, sharpen that up. So we go into a newer area today. Yes. Yes, we are. See, I have the wood rates and I have a sport bow and I have a sport bow. How much do you weigh? 35. And what's a regular one? <gasps> You're 50. I have two of them. I only need to have one of them. That's, and this is heavier. Check out all our bows, our bow scrap. All right, 61, 62, 62. I missed you. And that was the only one. I'll go up here, get rid of the burdock and the acorns. I gotta make acorn coffee at some point. It's just, it intimidates me when I go to make it because I always forget the process. <laughs> so then I don't want to do it. I think I need the large portion, but I don't remember. All right, what else can we get rid of? Um, I'm keeping the hooks in the book. Uh, we got to harvest those. And I'm going to throw... How much is that? Oh, wow, that's a, that's a 135 on that. Throw one bandage in there. And I don't like to use that for any of that stuff. Fire Strikers, 29 and 31. That's my best one. We'll take a 38 and a 36. Right. And so that's just all those. Okay. The hooks that we're carrying, they don't weigh anything. They don't add up to them. Let's do that and we'll take six. Because we still have, we have another four right there. He should go to Black Rock and travel in the tunnels under the prison to the hydro dam. But I wanted to go to the airfield. How much coal do I have? I have five. And we have water. We can take that. How much water does that put us at? 297. That's not enough. What would you prefer? Black Rock or the airfield? Probably Black Rock because it's closer. Uh, what do I want to use? That'll work. 
I do want to take a couple pieces of cloth. I'll take five, and what do we have for leather? We have two. Wait a second. We have 70. I gotta remember, I gotta harvest these up. I, I think we'll go to the airfield. Just because that was my plan. I don't know that I want to deal with timber wolves in the snub nose. Why does it say one of zero? Now it says zero zero. What just happened? Right, bunny. I'm not going to take the guts. Um, okay, we got to eat. a little bit of that in us. Let's go outside. Drop this meat outside. Oh, great. Tis an Aurora. This is my only rabbit meat, really. And now you can join it. And ptarmigan. Eight. Oh, you're a zero three. Nice. Our scent meat just got smaller. Uh, 10, 6, 10, 11, 4. Oh, okay, actually. You can go there. And the bunny. Uh. Okay, that's not what I wanted to drop. Do you know how happy I would be if I could get a bunch of zero ones for our scent? It would be like our scent weighs nothing. There's no chance that Murd eats all the meat in his runs. No chance. Murd ends up with a minimum 100 kilograms at every, outpo uh, every outpost. Aha, I get to read the fishing book. <laughs> Yeah, what Naifo said, no chance. <laughs> that is not happening. I mean, I was happy with reading the book, but I wasn't that happy. Yeah, the moldy too. Once you have cooking five, it's all good, so... I don't have 
have any cooked meat. Wait a second. Nope. <laughs> yeah, we will eat the moldy and uh, the worst, nastiest food. Once you got cooking five, it doesn't matter. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Mm, I might need wood. I kind of want to take these pots off so I can cook and read. Come on. Yeah. Let's do that. That's not really a lot of wood there. Uh, where's the bear meat? That's all six and. Alright, so we have an hour. You know what? Burr. Burr it up. Now we can read. book is done. I might okay. have to drop some gear. I'll throw you back up there. This is why I made the fire a little bit longer. And Get this to an hour 24. Good enough. And drop this book. We don't need a book. What has that done? Not much. <laughs> we got a drink. Uh, well, I guess we can repair some clothing. Maybe that's a good thing, because maybe this uh, sewing kit's about to uh, run out. Well, we can get a little ways. We don't need 11. Uh, we'll take the meat that we cooked, though. And we will drop... I don't know. Drop five. How? What? Where is that? You're at seventeen. Okay. And 
You're at 21. 21 should actually be okay. We're going to take that bad one. since we haven't really done anything during this day, we have an awful lot of alertness. Where are we going? Airfield. I'm going the right way, right? I better be. Through Forlorn, through Broken Railroad, we'll probably sleep in Broken Railroad. Fishing and walking to the airfield is about the same thing. Yeah. Except fishing, you get to eat when you're done. Oh, and I brought all that ptarmigan down, didn't I? Eh. Oh, and I got that rabbit. I don't care about you. We'll pick you up at some point. Go for a walk. A little bit of a jog. Huh. I thought I saw a little dark spot that looked like a chunk of coal, but I guess I was wrong. You ready? You're fully loaded? Yes. Bird wants a stretch. Let's rephrase that. Mert's timer wants a stretch. All right. <laughs> Who did that copper? Hitting me with a wolf sound right after a stretch. Thanks, Merd. Thanks, Copper. Pathetic. That was a good stretch, Coach. <laughs> You're hoping I choke a little? You know, one day a guy is going to run through here and realize that that is actually a bear. <laughs> one day that bear will be walking towards us and he'll be in front of that, but we'll be like, yeah, it's just that stump that we always think is a bear. Is that a bear? What is that? Is that a stump way out there? I doubt it. That looks like a bear. Or maybe it's a stump. <laughs> yeah, it's a stump. Wow. I legit thought it was a bear. I 
everyone calls that the poacher's camp, but I still always just refer to it as the the rail cars. I never remember when somebody says poacher's camp, I never remember what they're talking about. And we only have 10 cattails. So maybe at some point we might have to grab a few more. Forlorn is master concentration of death or ways to die. I, I've said before, I still remember watching Gray still plays back before I bought this game. And I didn't knew, I didn't knew. I didn't know anything existed out there. I thought that the train tracks were the region. <laughs> Because he usually stuck to the tracks. Mind you, it was usually the beginning of his run. He was a good player from way back. Alright, there's a wolf to our left. I don't wanna I don't wanna take on any wolves in here. I want to save our shots for wolves that benefit us in some way, like, i.e. making that region safer that we're about to be in. Good point. Most new streamers to Long Dark never leave the tracks. Yeah, and I don't know why. I mean, there's so much out here, right? There's literally just cattails on the tracks. That's it. And there's there's probably uh, a better opportunity for running into predators on the tracks than there is if you actually explore the region. I just, I, it never dawned on me back in those days that there was more to it. Did I go out to the other antenna here? I have no idea. What's there? We've repaired all the antennas in this, right? Like those bonus ones. Which, let's be honest, they're kind of a waste of time. Even though we always do it. We don't really benefit from them. I haven't been to the broken antenna. I've been to the other two. And what's at the broken one? I remember in story mode, is it story mode or is it a challenge? I remember you encounter the old bear there. But I don't remember, is that the one that's got like, like a couple of boxes? Like, and you just like, wait, why would there be a box way up here? And then you walk a little further. I wonder why there's another box.
You think a cave and a uh, container? You think that's story mode? Yeah. See, I get, I get story mode and the hunted mixed up. Because both of them have that point where you fight the old bear. Come on, let me up. I'm so close. Thank you. I will say, you know what? Not really. I'm, I'm not really complaining about this game, but. You know, something I noticed yesterday walking around playing Sons of the Forest. When you go through a cave, it's lumpy terrain. But somehow, you don't get caught up on everything. You just walk. Coach is happy. Two shots. I have a mod that I'm using in uh, Sons of the Forest. So now I'm going into the caves because it makes it basically turns my lighter into like uh, a, an incredible light source, right? And so now I can actually see when I'm in the caves. And now I understand why I got lost and why others get lost. You go into the caves in there, you can't see the outside walls. And there's multiple paths to take and it's confusing I got mad respect for anyone that plays that game properly <laughs> and is actually doing well at it Nafo confused in a cave? Say no. Yeah. I dare you to go into one of the caves in the for in Sons of the Forest. The caves in the forest weren't as bad. They were still kinda bad, but they weren't as bad. Should we just keep going? Why not, right? Because you know if I stop here, I'm going to want to go and take a shot at the bear. Then it's going to take longer and we're going to fight all the wolves. Probably get attacked by at least one of them. Let's just keep going. Go as far as we can. You get lost in Minecraft trail, uh, caves unless you have enough torch trails, and even then, yeah, I know. See, and that's what I've been doing, and even in uh, Sons of the Forest, I've been, uh, every so often, I'll throw up a torch, a wall torch, or whatever they're called. Even though I have the, the, the mod to light up the areas. I did get lost in the same place yesterday. I was running around. It wasn't nearly as long. I was probably lost for 20 minutes. But that was before I started putting up all the torches, right? And I was just I'm like, Where, why? Why? <laughs> now I can see and I still don't know where I'm supposed to go. Or you use un unusual blocks in the nether. I miss playing Mar Minecraft. I, I was never good at it. But I can't even get into it because Mine uh, 
Microsoft wants me to sign into my account and I don't know what account I use. I shouldn't have to sign into any account to play a game that I bought. But you know Bill Gates, right? We know you paid your money for this game, but I want your personal data. I need to sell that. There ain't no Microsoft rant coming. <laughs> you have to inform me that I lost my account unless I started with Microsoft. I don't even know how... I'm pretty sure... That back when I bought the game, I don't recall having to make an account. I just went a couple of years and I thought, eh, I should try playing that game again. I had fun with some friends. I, I specifically, I was playing with two, two of my friends. They had a, they were... Minecraft... Huge fans, right? And they told me they like they had a nice little base built up. And they said, you can do anything. You can take anything out of our boxes that you want. You can do anything. Just don't ruin anything. And I said, okay, that's that's fair, right? Yeah. <laughs> I pulled out some kind of bomb and I'm like, I got all confused as to how, like, I don't know how to put it away. All of a sudden I throw it, boom, down comes these houses. Like, oh no. <laughs> uh, what's the time of day? It's, oh wow, it's, you know what? It's, I thought it was a lot later than it really is. Let's just keep going. Maybe we can make it all the way. I don't know. That's that's uh, a little train station. Maybe I mean, that's a long ways to go. I'm going to shut the lantern off. I'm not going to waste fuel. You can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know people hate it when it's pitch black, but sometimes it has to be. Sleep in the cave. I don't want to sleep in a cave. I want to sleep at train station. There's no wolf. That's good. I should eat. And I... You know what? I'm going to drink a coffee. I've been doing all that running to get the alertness down, but now I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't have done that. But yeah, I think Minecraft was a fun game. I miss playing that. I would like to play it again, but Bill Gates won't let me. Now he's just being stubborn. Well, I'd rather be stubborn than cocky. Stubborn's okay. I won't lie, I'm in kind of a weird mood right now. It just, it just dawned on me. 
I was thinking, you know what? I've had a lot of weird thoughts the last 10 minutes. Hey, Darth, welcome in. Darth enters right as I say I'm in a weird mood today. He's like, oh, I gotta see this. Alright, you can't just put four sticks like that and think I'm walking right by it. It's not gonna happen. I will take them. Whether I need them or not, I will take them. I hope I'm going the right way. I remember this cave, right? It's got a, a turn off that we already missed. That takes you down there. I don't know. I must have been looking at chat and missed it. I wasn't going to go down there, but I was going to point it out. But eh, I guess we're not going to do that. Besides, this isn't an instructional video. This is just, hey, watch this idiot. See what he's going to do next. Maybe one day there will be a drinking game. Whenever Nifo does something stupid, we have to take a shot. <laughs> See if anybody's plastered at the end. Drunk in 10 minutes. You know what would be awesome is if there was breathalyzers that you could hook up to your computers. And everybody could see them. Right? And we had like a lengthy stream one day where, where everybody... In, I, I don't know how many of you are drinkers, but... We pick something like every time I say A or any time I do something stupid and we go until somebody gets legit drunk. One, one of the viewers, not myself because I don't drink. But we would have breathalyzers displayed so we could say, oh yeah. That person's actually officially, legally drunk. Mer doesn't drink alcohol, so would that mean you win or you lose? You just would be... a viewer. <laughs> like myself. Although I tell you this, my wife's bringing me back one of those uh, collector's bottles of Iron Maiden beer. Again. And I think there's a picture of it in Discord in the hobbies from way back. And you gotta think, hey, that's a perfect time for our fatigue to go away. You gotta think, like when you see the size of this bottle, I looked at it the one time, I'm like, wow, this is like a wine bottle. For somebody that doesn't drink alcohol, that bottle messes me up. And for somebody that actually thinks beer tastes like garbage, for some reason, I remember the last time I was drinking it, it was like, wow, this is actually pretty good. I had some Wayne Gretzky beer. I don't remember. Somebody bought me this little kit way back. You got three cans of beer that had Gretzky's name on it, and you got a toque. And I remember 
remember when I drank that one. I was like, oh my god. This is one of the worst tasting beers. That's a case of somebody putting their name, I think, on somebody else's product. Whereas Iron Maiden, uh, the singer actually was involved in the, the making of the various different beers that they have. Yeah, that bottle messed me up. <laughs> and when she gets home with this one, I'll have to drink it because, I mean, I already have my unopened one. And my empty bottle needs a buddy. Is your Twitch messed up right now, Murd? Everything's out of sync? My buddy yesterday, you know what? I, whenever I'm watching hockey, me and my buddy, we always, we're, we're good about not ruining anything if we're not gonna, like if one of us can't watch live. But sometimes I forget that this is this is a guy I've known since kindergarten, right? Sometimes he's an idiot. We'll be watching a game and I'll be like, did you hear what they just said? And he'll be like, actually, I'm watching the Punjabi CBC because it's actually kind of funny. I'm like, you're an idiot. Put it on the regular one so you can understand what they're saying, dummy. But we have like Sportsnet and we have CBC, right? So in the during the week days, the games will be on Sportsnet. Feels like night is coming. And on weekends, it's always on CBC. But for some reason, he always ends up watching the wrong channel. He'll watch like Sportsnet Pacific instead of Sportsnet West. So you know, the Oilers will score, and I'll send him a text, woohoo, and he'll be like, hey. <laughs> you can't talk for a couple of seconds. I'm watching on the other channel and there's a delay. Like, well, it's not my fault. Turn your channel. Lessons in Canadian sports media, sigh. Yeah. Do you guys have a sports channel in the United States that shows people playing poker? I don't care who you are. Poker's not a sport. ESPN. I can't stand ESPN. Mostly because my only experience with them is hockey and I think they suck at it. I always, I always feel bad for American commentators or media personnel that get assigned to hockey. Because you know it's not the top of their list. It's actually probably, you know, when they're told that they're, they have to do hockey, they're like, eh, fine. I, I guess it, I, it still puts me in the business. Why does this look different? I don't remember walking into a rail car if I just walk straight here. I don't know. Maybe I did. It's just been a while. Because it's dark. <laughs> hey, we're here though. We're going to be sleeping where I said we were.
put on the telly to the BBC. Yeah, the wife makes us pay for that. Like, you know how much that costs for us to have that? Trying to keep our cable bill low. I need to have this. Go watch it on the internet. That's right. I just said my wife likes the BBC. And if you think there's anything dirty in that comment, that's on you. Because I'm talking about television. No cable for Coach. He streams everything. I, Coach, I, I mean absolutely no offense by this, right? I'm not saying... I'm not trying to be... But for an older guy like you to be... Like, so up on technology like that. In my in my personal experience, it's kind of rare. I think you're more up on technology than I am. Like, I know my... I remember my dad. He got to an age where he just gave up. You know? It's like, alright, I'm done learning anything new. <laughs> and I miss the old days. And I'm at that point. Coach is more hip than I am. <laughs> so I, yeah, like I, I mean, I mean, I mean all that as a compliment, right? I, I don't mean to. You know, don't focus on the part where I said, you know, older people. All right, no batteries, obviously, there. <laughs> I, I still remember that one time I accidentally referred to the uh, old man's beard as coach's beard. <laughs> Uh, that one, I, I, I got a chuckle out of that one. I was re-watching the video. And I caught myself say that. And I'm like, wow, I wasn't even trying to make a joke. It was just an accident. Uh, well, we can drink and we can repair some clothing. Bring us to daylight and then we can actually see what's in here. All right, we have saplings. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? We have some meat. We have coal. I have five coal, right? Yeah, we have five coal. Well, I guess we're not having a nice leisurely walk. the backpack what do we have we have 14 pieces I have that shirt I can break that down Do that. It's you know what? It's windy. I don't think that's a blizzard, so let's just go. Let's eat another one. I remember the what do they call them party lines or whatever where you had to wait for a certain ring. 
I remember being at my cousin's way out in southern Alberta. He was an adult. I was still a young teenager and his phone was ringing and I'm like, why aren't you answering it? And he's like, because that's not for us. I didn't get it. Copper's dad started us playing as kids on his Amiga. Wow. My dad, when he passed away, never owned a computer. The biggest piece of technology I think my dad had was his flip phone. He wouldn't even take my old uh, iPhone. <laughs> Coach built his first computer. It was a Pentium 60 the size of a refrigerator. No battery. See, it would be right there. That's where I would put it if there was battery. It is cold. Minus 21 is what it feels like. Damn. Freezing. We're not going to run. All right, Copper, thanks for coming by. Have a great day. And hopefully we'll see you soon. <laughs> you kids today will never know the pain of a 28.8 .8 bod modem dial-up network. I'm lucky. I, I never actually... I never had a computer during dial-up days. Most likely be here tomorrow. Alright, Copper. Have a great day. Maybe later we'll see you on Discord or something. Who knows? Go do your walking too, eh? You wanted uh, friendly reminders, and I've yet to friendly, friendly remind you. So there, you've been reminded. Remember, the goal is 2.9 kilometers. Lucky, 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 lucky. Lucky. I need to drop something. Let us warm up. Oh. All right, we have one battery. That is way better than what we just had. Did you know that battery was here, Merd? You did? Ah! Oh. Merd just subtly hinting. Not firmly saying, hey, you remember you left a battery up by that truck, right? <laughs> Nope, just subtle hints that maybe you should go back to the airfield and check it out. Hoping I'll actually take the hint. Alright, we gotta get into the cave. Whatever, I'm happy. I'm happy that we have a battery. 
because now all of a sudden I'm greedy and I don't want a second battery. I want a third battery and a fourth battery. I want to rename the airfield to interstate batteries. I wonder if Copper saw us get that battery before she left. Once we get into the cave, we'll break it down. And it'll be all right. I'm not going to take the goat. Just because I want to make sure I'm checking all of these cars along the path. Oh, and you just basically type that. <laughs> Don't take the shortcut. I do have a pre-made, no, I don't have a pre-made birch bark tea. I was going to say, if I had a pre-made, I would just drink that. Right now, a birch bark tea would be three birds. If it was warm, it would be four. You get the warm buff, you get liquid, you get a little bit of your health regeneration, and you get vitamin C. Yeah, you have a thermos of birch bark tea, coach. You also, and, 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 and coffee. I don't do that, though. I just collect them. I'll throw some if I'm if I find one and I have to transport it I might use it in that time but I don't know that I'm ever actually gonna be using a thermos on a regular basis For, for the way I play, it's not very beneficial. I've, I've seen people discussing the, the Travois and questioning whether it was... All right, there's coal in here. I want to make sure I can see. Uh, people discussing the Travois and whether it was actually worth it. And... I mean, y'all have heard me say countless times at this point, like, yes, it is well worth it. But not everyone's a hoarder. So for those people who aren't hoarders, no, it's a waste of time. Uh, battery. Harvest. It doesn't even take long. And yeah, you get six, it's 1.5. You know what? We're not warm yet. Where's outside? Outside's right here. I want you up there. Whatever. You can go right there. Um, well, I'm 
I'm gonna have to use a piece of coal because I want to warm up. This is our first time cooking in this stream. Uh, I'm going to drink that now. Wow, that sounds like it turned blizzard. That is nasty out there. Is that a chunk of coal? Hello. Uh, how much water do we have? Three... Sounds violent. I'm just cooking water. Wow. What, so when you cooked that meat at the camp office that wasn't cooking? I totally forgot about that. Do we have enough time? 44, yeah, we have. We're up to six. What's our weight? We're still good on weight. Clothing we can repair. Well, we have this so we can harvest. Alright, I don't need more water. That's already way too much. We can't go out in that type of weather. But I don't want the fire to go out. Let's just sit right here. You're at 90. That is unbelievable wind. Like, I don't even want to go out in that type of weather because it'll just ruin our clothing. You know what? That's good enough. We'll do the jiggle. Um, we have five coal. That's good. Our pants are at 90. Minus 53, you think? Let's see, I gotta get out of, uh... I gotta get out of the wind block. Minus 42. Oh. 
You know what? That'll kill some time, I guess. I'm only taking the three. Oh, there's more up there. Okay, I'll take these ones. That is howling. Holy. Okay. on the uh, bar there was I'm pretty sure it was a little bit off I'm gonna keep one drink one of those yeah this cave is a definite requirement more water. I can't. I don't want to spend the night here, though. Alright, we're not repairing anything that's at 95. We have a tea, a regular tea. I'll save that for a box. Uh, I'll make one more birch bark. Let's go. We can't spend the night here. I don't want to spend the night here. This weather is vicious. Try and get wind blocks when we can. Full of sticks, like maybe ten. Well, we got the wind behind us now, that's a good thing. clothing doing it's get it's you know what it's it's staying fairly dry
Yeah. Right when I'm taking a drink of my coffee, two sticks. Oh boy, I forgot about this type. Well, last time we came out here, it was so nice. Yeah, this is blow your toque off your head kind of wind. Uh, all right, we got 11 sticks. Good enough. Come on, trailer. Oh, it's I need to find some place to escape this cold. Kind of nice to be out of that. And get proper sounds. All right, no more sticks, no more. Well, you're practically on the path. You are on the path. I left it. Alright. We'll quickly have a look for batteries. No batteries. Oh, look at the coal that respawned. That is beautiful. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this here. So for those of you on YouTube, I thank you for watching and I will see you all tomorrow.